Listen, Canute might be good and all at, you know, poisoning kings, taking over, but catch me in a game of risk, he's done. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus, and today we have more Venland Saga. And last time we got a very good look at what was going on outside of this farm with Thorfinn and Einar, and saw what Canute and kind of Thorkel were up to. It was a big episode, and I hope kind of weaves into what is going on with Thorfinn, because, I don't know, I feel like it's still very uh, important and it's apparent that the fact that we're checking in on them for an entire episode that it probably will kind of intertwine eventually gonna hop in if you need the channel drop a sub and let's go no heavy what is the imagery that i'm looking for here that those two birds barely got away from a snake wait snake heavy my god yeah dude i cannot even begin to imagine removing a tree stump without like a machine or something like bro they're doing this entire forest that's as backbreaking as it gets <laughs> uh, uh, uh. dog yeah i can't even begin to fathom how difficult that would be really deeply rooted tree trunks oh my gosh man oh my gosh that's just one tree bro I mean, they're not all as deeply rooted, but dog. Yeah, a horse. Can they not, like, borrow one from the farm? Mm-hmm. Mm. Talk to them and, like, ask for a horse? And to get a lot, more, a lot more done faster. The doctor? He was a former slave? That horse looks so sad. None to spare. They're all chilling in the stable. Head <laughs> back to your woods. Oh my gosh, bro. Pretty easy to talk, man. When you don't have to pull out a tree stump by hand. Bro, the way it is walking. He's got some attitude in his step. Telling the soil, okay. What do you mean, Anor? How are you gonna get a horse? And then just get treated worse and worse. Yeah. It could literally take off years of work if they had a horse. Whoa! <laughs> Don't you want to be free? That's kind of the whole question right now, isn't it? We need a horse! <laughs> yeah, how does Anar stay so motivated? I guess it is to be free one day. Oh. Do you have a horse? <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> Bro, it's like when you're in public and just so that random old guy calls you over, you have like a long conversation about the most random topic. No way! We're in! Nah, no, there's gonna be a catch. He wants them to do work or something. <laughs> He's so small! He collects rocks. Oh, he's having them collect rocks. Yep, here's the catch. Yep. This seems more chill than trying to pull out a tree stump, though. He's not collecting rocks. Is he pulling them out so that they can, like, he can farm? Zverkel? Zverkel. That's a sick name. <laughs> I love the, the music. Until the rocks are gone. Bro, this field is large. So, about that horse. He's just waddling away. <laughs> Surely this old man doesn't scam them. Oh, now they have to cut wood. Oh, dude. I have a bad feeling he's like taking advantage of them or something. I hope not. <laughs> yes, I'm saying. <laughs> he's leading them on with a little piece of cheese. And before he doesn't even own a horse. Like, I don't see one yet. Now he's got to have one for how big these fields are. Yeah, Thorfinn's like, I'd be doing this anyways. Yeah, true. Uh, 
これは契約じゃ<笑>馬を貸す代わりにわしの家の馬を借りるときと返すとき When they pick up the horse they do chores when they drop off the horse they do chores、hmm. I mean the trade off for being able to pull up roots and till soil I don't know it's pretty worth Dude, okay, so he wasn't scamming. Dude, look how much easier. Oh, <laughs> Anar is just so optimistic, man. I love him. They do the chores. Now they're working like double, though, because they have to do chores too, alongside the pulling up trees and stuff. Go, horse, go! You're such a cute horsey, he says. Oh, they're gonna overwork this horse. That's why they call him a workhorse. Dude, look how easy. They can make a mini farm at this point. Get started early. I like Thorfinn with the hair back. It looks, it looks solid. It's like something to be proud of. I feel like bit by bit, Anar will start to sort of rejuvenate Thorfinn to an extent, especially with the attitude that he has. Oh no, something's gonna happen. The retainers are gonna mess with them or something. Take the horse. Can you do wheat in the fall? Oh, wait, Thornfen knows nothing about farming? <laughs> Who's too cold? They had sheep. Ask about him, Thorfinn. He, he looked intrigued for a second. He is like looking less and less dead inside at the very least. Oh no. Hey, it's none of your business, pal. I just saw this coming a mile away. He just keeps saying hello. Sverko isn't real. The schizophrenic. They made him up. They stole the horse. And the horse looks so tired. Oh no. Wouldn't the horse be branded? Or were brands not a thing? No, they were by this point, no? The old master? Oh. Wait, like of the farm? Crabby old man. Maybe he's crabby because you're dicks! Oh, okay, okay. Most important man. Ketil's father. Huh. He's the most important because he probably owns the farm still. Unless he actually gave it to Ketil. No, because they said old master, so Ketil owns it now. Okay. At least the retainers are like, oh, okay, no, that makes sense. <laughs> It's a good thing Anar knows a lot about farming, or they'd be boned. Especially Thorfinn would have been boned alone. Yeah, something can grow. Nothing into something. Thorfinn can take a lesson from that. Oh man, they're getting work done. Wait, they have two horses now. Or do they lend them another horse because they actually have to have them to till? Yeah, because you would have to do it by hand. This could be something for like Thorfinn to throw himself into and learn about and I don't know, be passionate about. Man, I thought he was gonna crack a smile there. It would have made me so happy. We have not seen him smile the entire season. Oh. Dad and son. Oh. Oh, this, wait. Oh. This was the old man in the field when Snake got up. Oh. Wait, so would Snake be his son and his grandson then? Kettle and Sval Svaltar? Can't just do whatever you want. <laughs> he said, then stop me, young, young man. I'm your papa. He's just making soup. I was gonna say, are they coming by to do chores? Yeah, this is where he was sleeping when we saw him. Okay, okay. He's definitely his son and his grandson. He looks so different from them, though. I guess it's the hair color. I mean, it's possible he's not. <laughs> Smells the soup. Oh, yeah, Gramp. Well, he could just be calling him Gramps. <laughs> 
<laughs> Aino just constantly looks over everything. Good morning. <laughs> he just says, hello, good morning, hello. <laughs> he's, he's awake for the night shift. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guarding the young women. I was getting put on blast. Aww. Aww, this snake is so nice. Earn the right to eat. This fault tower is all about like hard work. Snake's a little more unhinged, but he's got a good heart, I think. <laughs> Bro, grandpa's cooking snake. <laughs> I don't know, you're quite old, Svaltar. <laughs> Poor Finn's gonna have, like, PTSD. Like that guy! <laughs> now, Snake has to be a good fighter to alpha his men like that. Yeah, I was gonna say, the farm is enormous. 13 men. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I feel like it's foreshadowing. Oh, he said, right? Oh. Uh. Oh, no, it's foreshadowing so hard. No, stop saying that! <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm surprised they haven't been attacked or anything. Because of Harald's influence. King Harald. And that's Knut's brother, no? Yeah, so Ketzel sends Harald a ton of stuff, so it's protected. Mm. He's saying the farm is like overexpanded. Mm. That was very ominous. Very ominous. The nighttime shifts. Don't come back. Oh, he's serious. <laughs> they have a cute relationship. Ah. I forgot about his ear. Oh my gosh. Overgrown baby. Oh, look how expansive it is, yeah. That'd be so hard to defend. You can have too little and too much of something. Dude, Dorfin is learning! Dorfin, he's, he's, he's soul-searching, man. I love it. Oh, like they're going, like, matching facial hair. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> Surely we're friends, right, Dorfin? Ah! Slight smile! Dude is so weathered. No? Oh, what a good episode. Oh, that was so sweet. And nothing went wrong. There was no sadness. Oh my gosh, that felt like a slice of life, bro. Holy. Okay, so another big development, though, on, the, on that side of things with Kettle and, and uh, his, his father, apparently, who used to own the farm, who still lives here. But a lot of foreshadowing based off of them uh, really actively talking about how vulnerable the farm is. While at the same time, it contrasting it with Thorfinn thinking like, he he has nothing. He, he's like, I have nothing and I, I'm worth nothing and I've never had anything good happen to me. But now he's seeing the flip side of things, this this argument between Kettle and his father where Svaltar is like, you have too much. Like you've inherently overexpanded and now you're more and more and more vulnerable. That's why you have to shell out so much money to Harald. So Thorfinn's like, oh, it's possible to be even at, at the opposite end of things and still like suffer, I guess, to an extent. Or not suffer, but have vulnerabilities. Everyone does, no matter who you are. I feel like every single episode Dorfin does sort of learn a little bit more about himself and about the world and hopefully become a little bit more optimistic about the future of his life. But I mean, with the help of Anar, especially Anar is just a positive beam of light shining down on Dorfin, despite everything that he's gone through too. But the cast continues to grow and, and just, I, I don't know, it, it makes me just more, more nervous, to be honest. That's been it for my reaction to Vinland Saga today. Hope you enjoyed. Drop a like on this one. I'll catch you next time. Peace, peace.